Hey Fly Tires, welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying a Clouser variation that I call the Mags' Clouser. Now, there's a bit of a story behind this one. I've got a cat who just happens to be the same color as this fox hair. And uh, one day I accidentally stepped on his tail and a huge clump of hair pulled out. So rather than getting rid of it, thought why not try tying a fly with that. So the logical choice was to tie a Clouser minnow with it. So as he's a kind of a cream and orange colored cat, I took some of the whitish hair and used that for the tail and put the clump of orange up top and put it in my fly box, kind of forgot about it. A couple months later, I was out pike fishing and I thought, why not uh, throw this on, see what happens ended up catching a 42 inch pike on this fly and the rest is history. So let's have a look at the material list and get started. Let's get a fresh hook in the vise. For this today I'm going to be using a Mustad Signature Streamer hook and I'm going to be using the 2 Extra Heavy 5XL. This is the R75-79580 and of course this is the Signature model and it replaces the older uh, Mustad 79580 but it's a nice nice heavy hook and it's uh, as I mentioned in the intro, I've caught pike on this fly. Uh, if you have something similar in length, but uh, maybe with a straight eye, that'll work as well. I'm going to be using a 6 aught Rusty Dunn thread on here. And we'll just start by putting on a base layer of thread. This is just kind of going to help keep the material in place on top of the hook. You don't have to completely cover the hook shank here, but just get a, a nice layer of thread on there just so that you your materials have something to kind of bind to. So my proportions for my clouser, I want to divide my hook shank basically into three, and I want to set my eyes basically on the first third. And for the eyes on this, I'm going to be using a four millimeter brass bead and this one has a nickel finish and it's got fluorescent yellow and black pupils. It's a nice kind of my standard um, barbell for clousers and uh, streamer type flies. So we'll just start by we're gonna wrap it a, a figure eight wrap it on both sides and then we're going to make sure that we pull that thread taunt every few wraps. And we just want to try and get these eyes on fairly tight. We don't want them loose on the hook shank. And they're still a little bit loose here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add just a little bit of Sally Hansen's just to give that a little bit of hold. And then we'll add a few more wraps over top. So just a small dab. We just want that to kind of soak into the thread wraps. And now we're just going to take the thread. We're just going to wrap over top of the the uh, glue that we just applied. And we'll go both ways and put some uh, base wraps on there around the base of the barbell eyes. And... Once that dries, they're going to be pretty solid on there. So now we'll start with our first material. I'm going to be using some natural fox fur, and this is a body fur that we're going to use. And if you're buying a new patch, you want to look for something that has a little bit of color variance. This one has some nice cream or some tan and a little bit of orange or red in there. So we're going to start off by taking a little bit of this cream. I'm going to take a fairly big chunk I guess 
and uh, we'll just kind of line that up before we cut it off the, the leather. And before we tie this in, I'm just going to take a brush tool and we're just going to take a little bit of the under fur right out of the very bottom. We don't want to take all the under fur out, um, just some of the shortest stuff and that'll prevent some of the bulk in the head from building up. So we've done that and for the length, I like to make, make it about a body length off the back of the hook bend. And we want to make sure that we have enough room to tie down the fur in front. And then we'll just bind this down. We want to try and pull that so that it's on top of the hook shank and that it doesn't roll around to the bottom. Once we got that tied down, we'll add a few more wraps just to secure that. And then we'll take our thread underneath the eyes and then up to the front, and then we'll pull the tag end of that tail forward, and we'll use that we'll, to form our head. We'll just snip off anything that's going to be tied down forward of the eye, and we'll bind that down. That looks pretty good. Of course, we'll go back under the eye and just tighten up in behind the eye there. Next, we're going to add a little bit of flash to this clouser for the body. And I'm going to be using Mirage on this one. If you don't have Mirage, if you have something like a Pearl Flashaboo or a Silver Flashaboo, that'll work really good as well. So we're going to take about five strands of the Mirage Flash. And this is an opalescent as well as pearlescent, I believe. It's got a little bit different effect. So we'll just bind that down on top of the hook shank down to where the tail's tied in and then we'll advance our thread up to the other side of the eyes there to keep them out of the way. And I like to just put a little bit of Sally Hansen's on there just to really secure that flashaboo as I'm wrapping it. So we'll just start by wrapping this on. You kind of want to flatten it out as you wrap it. You want to make sure that you cover the whole uh, shank there. And we'll just wrap that up to the front. And when I get to the eyes, I take it underneath, wrap it around the front and then back under the other way. And then I'll give it a wrap behind the eyes and then I'll take it back and I'll do that again. And what you do on the underside of that is you kind of crisscross and then you completely cover the bottom side with flash so you don't have any uh, thread exposed underneath. I'll give you a, a view of what that looks like. Just tie off the excess and we'll snip that off. You can see we've got a full coverage of the Mirage on the bottom of the eyes there. So we flipped our hook over and now we're going to add our wing. So this next part is optional. We're going to add a couple pieces of crystal flash. You don't want to go too heavy on this. Two pieces, three pieces is probably enough. So we'll take the full length. And we're going to measure it out to the back of the tail. And uh, we're just going to add a couple wraps and then we're going to fold over the tag end across the hook shank and then we're going to pull that along the other side. We're going to pull all those tight and trim them up even-ish. You can give those a bit of a tug just to put them into place. It can be a little bit tricky but I like to have mine kind of in between the body and the wing if I can. All right. So for the last thing we need to tie into the fly, we're going to try and find a, a nice uh, dark section of the natural fur with the orangish, the darker orange or red or rust, whatever you want to call it. 
So this, for this, we're just going to kind of isolate some of those hairs. And then we're going to come in there and trim those up with our scissors. And again, we're going to take our brush tool or a piece of Velcro or something. And we're just going to brush out the very shortest uh, under fur out of there, just so we don't bulk up our head too much. And what I do is I just put the brush in between or I put the hair in between the brush and my thumb and just pull it out a few times and that'll kind of really liberate some of those shorter under fur fibers. So for this size fly we pretty much much need the whole length of the hair and so we'll just tie that in right at the eye just a few loose wraps and then we just want to kind of make sure it's in the right place for us and just see how that looks once the hair pierces the hook there. Looks good, so we'll commit to that. And we're going to trim up those forward tips. So anything that's going to interfere with the eye, we're just going to cut those out. So originally I had tied this with cat hair, but this fox is actually really, really close in color to what I had used originally and it's about the same consistency. So you want to make sure that you use the body hair as it's a little softer than the tail hair. Tail hair will work, but it'll, it'll be a little, um, little bit different movement in the water. So we're just going to smooth out the head and then we're going to come in here and do a couple whip finishes. And I like to do two whip finishes on this fly. And for this one, we're going to actually also finish it with a little bit of bone dry, just to give a little bit more protection to those thread wraps. And this will also help create a more durable fly, even if you're not going after some of the toothy critters like pike. Um, but this has also been a good trout fly as well. And I tie this down to number eight and up to a number four. So we'll just set that bone dry on there. And there you go. That's Mags' Clouser. Hope you enjoy it. Hey Fly Tires, thanks for stopping by and checking out my fly tying videos. If you enjoyed the video and want to show your support, hit the thumbs up and share it to your social networks. I hope you consider subscribing to the channel and if you do, be sure to hit the bell icon to get notifications on my latest fly patterns, tips and reviews. If you have a question or comment, leave a message below. You'll also be entered into the next draw for some of the flies I tie and a few stickers. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.